I'm completely exhausted. If they're going to say happy holidays, they really need to fit like 17 more holidays into this week and a half because I need 17 more days off. Anyway, what do you do when you're exhausted? You make a chaos necklace because you don't have the energy to measure or plan or think ahead like I do on every other video where I meticulously plan and blueprint and measure for months before making the first attempt at anything. Anyway, what is this? This is 18 gauge uh, antique copper. Uh, it's about two and a half feet. Let's do that. Let's cut that. Let's put it in the middle of the wire. Let's uh, make a loop. It's all those things. All those things. Let's make the loop. That's a good loop. I like it. Let's twist it. Let's twist it again. Let's turn it. Okay, that's like the top of our bale, maybe, unless we change it later. And we're going to have this double strand amoeba shape because that's just fun to do. Amoeba shapes all over. I like it. How about you? Can you even hear me with the, the roar of this nonsensical after holiday crowd? Okay. It's a little wilder than I was uh, planning, which makes it even better. Okay. All right, we have just enough left to scarf the top here. This is going to be the ugliest one I've made yet. I'm pretty proud of that. I'm going to wrap that around there. And um, I think it's just going to go right in there. Luckily, I have these awesome cutters. I still didn't invest in good pliers or anything. I'm using the Walmart ones, which seem to work for me. See, see how that cut? It was like magical. You didn't even see it because it just happened before you realized that what was happening. Um, so this is going to scarf higher like that. That's going to look cool. That's going to be like awesome looking for all the people who like cool things. And we'll cut that one too. And we'll tuck that one in. And what is this? Can you tell? It's not a person, a place, or a thing. Does that mean it's even a noun? I don't know. Let's make it even weirder. How weird can we make it? I don't know. I don't know the answer to anything today. I just need to sleep. Ten miles away, in a little igloo where no one can find me, not even the polar bears or penguins. Are there polar bears and penguins together, or do they live on separate poles? That's for you to Google today. Put your answer in the comments. Um... Well, I'm still playing with this, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. But I like it the more and more I play with it. I like it even more and more. Well, it's fine the way it is. If it was hanging like from some way where I could get a definite top and bottom. Now, it's, now that I scarf this, you're just assuming that's going to be the top. But I don't like that as a shape. So maybe if I could just, over, I'm going to overlap some folds. This is breaking the rules, but let's see, can we do this? Are we allowed? Oh, it's getting blurry. I'm seeing double. Aha! So now it's starting to look like something. Something far worse. Oh, let's fold this down like that. Oh, are we allowed to twist it? Oh, well, since we did it already, let's do it once more. Okay. Alright, I'm liking that better. 
Uh, let's twist that one too. Okay, that's better. Should we get just bend that one in a little bit? All right, now that looks more like a pendant. In case you notice, I have a um, pre prejudice towards pendants that no matter how weird they look, you can pick out a type of oval or teardrop or lemon shape to it. So just when you thought I was the weirdest ever, you find out there's actually some convention behind this. And But don't tell your friends because your friends have to believe that this is just freaky and weird. I don't want to get the reputation as having the channel that's conventional. This is freaky and weird. The freakiest and the weirdest you've ever seen. Okay? All right, let's put some little stones in there. Okay, here's some options we have. These are six millimeter, red jasper, uh, blue shell composite, mother of pearl, amethyst. These are four millimeter, uh, African turquoise, it's actually green jasper. Uh, black lava stone, lapis lazuli, or maybe sodalite, malachite, and another red jasper. Probably not gonna use all of these, but let's see, where can we fit some in? I we might not even use any of the big ones. Let's see. Oh, I think that we can put some of these somewhere. See how they go. See how they go. Yeah, I really think we just have room for like two more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two more uh, four millimeter. I don't think these guys can even be used. Or maybe. That's kind of cool. I don't know if it'll stay. Of course, I'll have to thread it, but I mean. I want it to sit right there. It doesn't want to. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, I like that better. Yeah. I don't like that. There we go. I kind of like that. Okay, how would it get how do we get them all to stay until we thread them? I don't know if this will work, but let's try. Scotch tape! Yeah. Now you're stuck in there. Take that. Stones. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna thread that one first, so he's sticking out. 26 gauge antique copper. Let's take about, uh, not too much, let's take about a foot. Commence threading. This is not working. I'm just gonna write where all the stones go. Voila, we are ready to continue. Cynthia got me this, these handy little trays from the dollar store to hold the beads. All right. Got our lava stone in the middle. 
Let's wrap it tight. Wrap, wrap. Whoa. Where are we wrapping it? Um, let's wrap it right here. There we go. Tight. And right here. Very tight. Push that loop through there. Now for the large amethyst. Perfect. Oh, that one was easy. This guy, I made it too much of a mess down there, but no one will see it but you guys. Let's come around here real quick. What goes in that little spot? The green jasper. Green jasper. It's actually uh, called African turquoise online. It looks so pretty, but somebody told me it's not real turquoise. Big surprise, because real turquoise costs a fortune. That's okay, it still looks great. Green Jasper. Okay, working our way up. What do we have next? We have. Oh. Okay. Tiger's Eye up in that corner. Start threading this around. Okay, we got our malachite and this wire is done. No sense trying to squeeze one more stone on there. Let's make ourselves a nice little swirl and tuck it in somewhere where it will never come out. I like this pattern so much, I don't even want to obscure it with an ugly swirl. I'm tucking this guy in the back, in the very back there, and I'm going to put a drop of E6000 right on there to secure the wire to itself. There they go. Alright, now, this wire I have to get all the way up to the top. Uh, let's see what how what more stones we have to put a stone right here. We have three more to go. Okay, so I gotta carefully, gently wrap this wire. I can't go straight up because that'll be you'll see it too obviously. I want it to be delicate and beautiful. So I'll wrap it, obscure it in places you won't see it. I'll hide it inside the larger wire. There we go. Right up through there. Well, that's good. We'll come right around here. And come around here. I think we're going to run out of wire with just this one maneuver. That's okay. We can always add more wire. Okay, again, we'll just make a tiny bit of a swirl here. Just tuck it in right there and get rid of it in the back. Two more to go. Let's take one more piece of wire. Now, this time we only need about seven or eight inches. And this time we'll come right from, come right from here. Instead of going in the middle, we'll, we'll wrap it around the scarf a few times. We'll tuck it right into the bowl in the back of the scarf. Make that nice and easy. Just curl it right in there.
Let's drop some E6000 in there. There we go. Got the amethyst right there. Oh, this is gonna be so easy to finish, okay. Let's wrap that around. One more. Okay, and the last little tiger's eye. Voila, so pretty. So cute. All finished. Okay, and I will just come back. Just make our way back up to the scarf so we can tuck this one too. I mean, technically, you could just cut it and make a little curly cue. Maybe we should just do that to so make less wire in the way, right? Be done with it. Be done with it. Just enough of a curly cue to have a little bit of substance to tuck out of the way. There we go. Let's fold it over right there. Put the 6000 on za. Just a little job, too much, too much. That's good, that's good. And this is done. Done just in time. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Yeah, yeah. And get some jump rings and black leather cord. I think we're good. Oh, yes.